Can AI really build us a beautiful website? Squarespace sure thinks it can, and in this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how. I'm Becca Harpain, Squarespace expert and creator of InsideTheSquare.co, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through Squarespace Blueprint, a brand new AI that will create a Squarespace website for you based on your answers to only five specific questions. This guided design system has over 1.4 billion combinations of unique website layouts and designs, so in this tutorial, we'll be answering those five questions to see what it comes up with. Underneath this video, I've got timestamps just in case you want to jump ahead to a specific spot, and I also have links to related resources. But without further ado, we've got a website to create. I'll go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. So first up, if you go to squarespace.com forward slash blueprint, you will not find blueprint. I have no idea why, but they decided not to put it there. I will link to the blueprint interface in the description of this video, but it's at squarespace.com forward slash templates forward slash custom website templates. Anywho, now that we're here, let's go through the process by clicking let's go. If you don't have a Squarespace account yet, select continue with Google, Apple, or email. I already do, so I'll log in here on the top right-hand side. And now that I've logged in, it'll set things up in the back end, and we'll get started with Blueprint. The very first question it's going to ask, once it loads, there we go, is what is your site called? We'll go ahead and call this Blueprint Demo, just for the purpose of creating this. You'll see instantly this animation on the left is updated, which is kind of a preview that we need to pay attention to what's happening on this side of the screen. All right, let's select Next. And our next option is to build our home page. We'll see a list of sections here. Now, most websites will need an intro section. We'll select that. But we have another interactive element here. Down here, we can choose a different style of intro section. If you want a simple text and button, a few images, large background image, lots of different options here. Let's go ahead and start with this one. I like the look of this. And then we can choose an additional layout. We have products, services, appointments, digital products like courses or memberships, about, social, forms, and footer. I'll go ahead and select about. We're on a home page. Let's talk a little bit more about this business. And you'll see again, we have multiple layout options. These are tiny little previews of the layout. So if you click into any of these, you'll be able to see what they look like. I like this one with a lot of text. We went image heavy up here. Let's go text again. All right, again, you have a lot of different sections to choose from. Maybe now's the right time to add a services section. How about this layout? And at the very bottom, I think all websites should have a footer. So I'm going to make sure we choose footer section. Again, as soon as you click on any of those options, you can select a different layout for that specific section, whatever suits the style of the website that you're creating. I like this one with a lot of internal links. Before we move on to the next step, I want to make sure you understand none of these elements are clickable. I can't click into here and change the text. I can't rearrange the page sections. None of that's happening yet. My only options here are to change the layout for the option I've selected. After I've made my selections for our homepage, we'll select Next. Here, we can add additional pages to our site. Most pages require an About and Contact, so those are two that it creates right out of the gate. Here, we don't have templates to choose from, but you can see the pages that you have selected. After About and Contact, you can toggle on Appointments or Course or Shop. You've got a lot of different options here. But just like I showed in the last section, we can't click on anything to edit. And here, we don't even have the layout option. All of those will be adjusted after this web page is created. I also want to mention on this list, we don't see things like portfolio, events, blog. None of those pages are here. We need to add those after Squarespace Blueprint has built our website. So let's say about and contact and services will remove shop. Those are the ones we need. All right, let's move on to the last two blueprint questions that are about the design. Next, we choose a color palette. Now, these are preset color palettes that will alter the way the content is displayed on your site. You can see these color changes while I click around here. All of these are super duper customizable. So start with one that's more in line with the style you'll like. Maybe even just start with monochromatic and we can customize those later. Let's go with this one. I like that weird minty green there. I'm going to choose that one. All right, on to fonts. This is our last blueprint specific question. These font pairs were selected by the Squarespace designers, but just like everything else in this process, 
We can change them after we create the site using Blueprint. Poppins, one of my favorite fonts. I can select that right here. Or if we scroll down, we can go for a mixed font face, which could be a creative and a serif or a sans serif paired together. Again, these are the designer presets that are all customizable after you've launched your site. I'll stick with Poppins. I love that font. All right, now we'll select finish. And in my opinion, this is where the magic happens. Not only is Squarespace going to build that template for us based on those questions, we have a new option here. This new option is to personalize our website using Squarespace's AI content generator. It will fill in the content of those pages that we asked it to create using Squarespace AI. Now you can always select skip, but we've got to click continue for the purpose of this tutorial video. Let's check out what AI can create for us. Here, we need to describe our new site. Making up a fake business, we need to describe this website. This, the example that they list here is actually pretty specific and has four key things that you should include in your own website description. What you do, where you are, what you're called, and what your specialty is. What you do, where you are, what you're called, and your specialty. Let's focus on those four things. For this tutorial, I had to lean pretty hard into my nerdy side. We are going to create a fake website for the Mars Tourism Association that takes people on a tour of two famous Martian landscapes. Now that we've added our description, let's select next. Here is where we'll choose a writing style. This is the second and last question before Squarespace will create our website and populate it with the content generated by Squarespace's content AI. For this writing style, you have six options. Neutral, playful, professional, friendly, informative, and quirky. Here's the example for neutral. Then we can choose playful. It'll rewrite this example for us. I strongly recommend that you click on all six and read them thoroughly to make sure that it really grasps the tone that you would like to convey for your specific website. A quick reminder, all of your content needs a human touch. Whatever Squarespace AI generates for you should always be edited by you to truly reflect your business and your unique perspective. For this demo, I'll select professional because I like the way that it uses unparalleled, magnificent, and esteemed. Those are very fancy and formal words that I'd like to have in the rest of my website copy. Whatever you've selected, choose finish on the bottom right hand side and Squarespace will get to work. This part might take a second, so enjoy that background animation while we wait. And here we go. We have our brand new website created for us. You'll see the selections that we chose using the homepage editor. And under the website menu on the top left hand side, here you'll see the three pages that we selected during Blueprint. But check this out. When we click into services, it's actually listed. It's actually listed the titles and descriptions of services it thinks we're going to offer. How cool is this? It literally created a website for us based on this concept of a Martian tourism company. Now, all of the images will need to be updated. That's something that you'll need to do in Squarespace anyway. Never use the stock photos they provide. Always use your own. But I think it's truly amazing that AI has gone through here and created these descriptions for us. Let's check out the About page where they've written a full story about our company for the Mars Tourism Association. And even on the Contact page. Here you can find more information, even a fake example of what our URL could be. This is also a great example of why you need to go through all of the content that was generated by Squarespace AI to make sure it's accurate. This is not my email address. This might not even be my URL. This is what Squarespace AI thought it should put there for us. So make sure that you update all the content it's created for you. Now, a quick reminder, when you're taking a look at your website here, there are a ton of different things that we can edit and change about Squarespace, even with one of these templates that AI has built for us. To change any page, select Edit on the top left-hand side of that page preview. Here, you'll find all kinds of options for editing the text, adding new page sections, tons of options here to explore, and for changing things like your fonts and colors. You'll need to use your site styles menu on the top right-hand side. Click on this paintbrush icon from literally any page. This will open up your design menu. Here you can change things like fonts, colors, animation, spacing, and more. A pro tip, in April 2024, Squarespace is going to change this menu just a little bit. You might be using this older version here on the screen, or you might have a new one. But inside these options, you'll find the same options for editing, 
your global text styles, as well as your unique color themes. To learn more about how to create and customize your Squarespace website, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash start. Let me know in the comments below, are you going to give this AI tool a try? What did you think of the response that it gave us? And do you have any other AI tools that you use to customize your own Squarespace website? I also have a link in the description underneath this video to my free Squarespace AI prompt pack. If you want to start generating more text, there are five key things that you'll need to include inside a Squarespace AI prompt because it's not a chatbot like ChatGPT or Google's Gemini. So if you want to do a little bit more with a Squarespace AI content generator, check out that link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know in the comments what you think of Squarespace Blueprint and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new video about Squarespace every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.